hey 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 gorgeous how are you today welcome back to my channel this is your girl jb and i'm back so before we get into this video make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video with everybody and um this video is going to be my quick makeup routine kind of sort of and just to talk to you and let you all know where I've been and I'm coming back and what is about to happen. So yeah, stay tuned. First, I'm going to put on some clear lip gloss so that my lips don't crack and get chapped while I'm doing my makeup. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start with Prime. Oh, you can't see it, can you see it? Okay, so this is Milani's Prime Perfection Primer. So, I'm gonna put this on. So I have missed you all. I have a new setup for those who don't know. And I'm going to be bringing you guys some makeup videos. As you can see, I'm still working on it. But I'm gonna be bringing you guys some makeup videos as well as hauls. So, well not makeup videos. My makeup videos are gonna be mainly like story time. So. This video is going to be quick because I don't want to hold you all because, yeah, I'm not a makeup guru, but this is just how I do my makeup. Um, prime my face with Prime Perfection Milani. If I can, I'll post it. If I remember to, I'll. Next, I am going to start with my eyebrows. I have the Brow Pen by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Ebony. Shake it a little bit. And I just put brow strokes into my eyebrow. So while I'm talking to you, and don't I mean, while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to be talking to you. So, um... I got my spoolie, just gonna spread my brows out. Um, yeah. So it's been so long since I posted. I have so much content to share with you all that I haven't been able to share because of technical issues. It seems like every time I start recording tons of content, some type of electronic device messes up. So right now my laptop is in the shop and I just decided that I'm not going to let that stop me anymore. I am going to either re-record what I need to re-record or I am going to just record it on my phone and edit it from there because I'm not going to never get it out if that's the case. So I just put slight brush strokes in my um, eyebrow and then I outline it a little bit. Then I go in with my spoolie to blend it all in together. I might use my finger to clean it up some. Y'all, I am not, I am not a makeup guru, but this is how I do my makeup. So, if you got any tips, if you see me doing something differently, if you got any tips, I am open for suggestions and tips. But I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. So, um, other than my electronics, you know, life has gotten to us. We've stopped posting on Will and Jay Eats. We stopped going on, on Instagram. We just stopped so much because we are, we are indeed, um, and we as in me and my hubby, Will, most of you, well, some of you know that I do a mukbang also, um, but me and Will are, um, We are um, adventuring into other business ventures because YouTube is, is a nice income, but when you don't post, you don't get paid. And if people don't like what you post, don't post. If people don't like what you post, you don't get paid. So you can put effort into it, and if they don't like it, you're not getting paid. If you're not doing trending stuff, or if you don't have a big following, you're not getting paid. Yeah, we have 106 followers, but. I mean subscribers, 106,000 subscribers, a million on TikTok. We have all of those numbers, but those numbers don't equal dollars, trust me. And we still have a whole entire family to take care of. As y'all know, we got five children, four girls and a boy. So we have to provide for them. We got school to pay for, extracurricular activities, regular bills. We're trying to get a new house because we have outgrown this house as a family. And yeah, so 
things gotta get done, you know? And we love creating content, don't get me wrong, we love it. But it's just very difficult to put so much time and energy into it when you're not able to take care of your family also. Because at one point we could take care of our family and create content, but you know, it's not a guarantee. So I will be fixing these. They look crazy, but I'm gonna fix so them. I am going to conceal them with Fenty Beauty. Um, this is 440 Pro Filter Concealer. You can use the applicator. Sometimes I put it on my hand, but I don't feel like messing up my hand right now. You can use the applicator and just outline your brows. I don't use this concealer too much, but I'm gonna use it now because I'm out of my um, my Maybelline. I like Maybelline. Uh, it has like the same, almost the same um, applicator, but I love that um, concealer. This is kind of orangey for me, but I'm gonna work with it because that's what I got. But yeah, I just outline it and then I'm gonna blend it once I outline it. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, you know, we have a family to take care of and it's hard to do content. And content creation is like really a full-time job. If you don't dedicate much time to it, you're not gonna get much out of it. So I'd rather just be able to go full force on social media than to half do it and don't see results. Like I don't wanna not, I don't wanna do it and not grow. You know, the purpose of doing social media is to grow. You're growing a family, you're getting to know other people. You know, people are getting to know you. And that's the purpose, that's the whole point of it. And I don't want to do it and not be able to, you know. I know we have, you know, our OGs. What up? <laughs> um, you know, we, we got our faithful people that, you know, gonna watch regardless. We can drop a video six months from now, a year from now, nine months from now, and y'all gonna watch it. And we truly, truly appreciate you. And we love each and every one of you that keep up with us. Keep up with myself and with us i'm just gonna find my brush um, via instagram nothing is clean y'all i haven't cleaned anything but listen it gotta get done got to get done usually i dampen it but i just i don't have the energy right now but um yeah so this is my um crayon case brush and i'm just gonna blend this concealer See how orange it is? Super orange. But um, yeah. Yeah, the purpose of it is to grow, you know? And when you don't put your all into it, you don't grow. You can post every once in a while, but that's not gonna help, you know? And the overnight sensations, people that become so successful overnight is not real. That's not real. That is not real. People post one video and they go viral. That is not real. Not real. So if you're a content creator and you feel like you haven't gone viral or your videos, it takes people years. You gotta think some of these people have been posting since they graduated high school, they're now in their 40s. You gotta think some of these people have invested lots of money into it so you know don't feel bad if you aren't going viral if you don't get a million of views or you know it's slow and steady i'm telling you social media is slow and steady slow and steady and you have to remain consistent for any algorithm to uh acknowledge you so this video is gonna be longer than 10 minutes, clearly, because I just took four minutes to blend this out. So we'll see what we come up with. But just blend it out until you get the the color you're going for, the cons consistency. Yeah, basically the color you're looking for, the, what you're looking for. Some people like the head, the bright concealer.
some people, some people like I don't. I like a little bit of a bright concealer, but natural always looks better to me. Not natural, but blended so your skin looks better. And then I go over it because I like to have like my eyebrows to look 3D, not 3D, but to pop out some. So, uh, washed out because it looks washed out sometimes when you um, blending your concealer. Sometimes you can wash out your eyebrows. Sometimes, depending on what you're using. But if you aren't, go ahead and follow me over on TikTok, and I post a lot there. I'm doing fashion there because. I love fashion, y'all. Some of y'all don't know. Well, I mean, you're on my fashion channel, but like fashion was a big thing to me before I had kids and I'm trying to get back to that um, because I love it. I love dressing up, I love getting clothes, I love shopping, I love all of that, so. Next, I am going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color, this is Soft Matte. This color is what, uh, 450, so yeah. I'm not gonna use much of this because it's extremely um, orange. So I'm gonna use some of this. I don't know what, how to pronounce this. This is called, um, this color is, woke up like this 195. This is called Eye Ma Maquillage. I don't know, but this is too light and this is kind of too dark. We're gonna mix some. So I just pump little pumps on my face all over just little pumps pump 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 it up yes i was saying before and this one is more of a brown tone it don't have uh orange to it so that's how i like mixing it kind of balances itself um but like i was saying i love fashion i've always loved fashion it's always been a thing that I enjoyed. And, um, yeah. That's why I decided to do my fashion channel. Like, I'm always the overdressed family member or friend, even though I don't have friends. But, you know, always the overdressed one. Or super dressed, no matter the event, so. My living room is like basically dedicated to me, y'all. It's, it's just super crazy. But it's like, we're just gonna turn, we took the mukbang area down and put up this table in this um, background for me. And on the other side of this living room area is my studio for my holes. And then we have like a little office set up with like a desk and printer blending in my foundation yeah I look shiny I'm really not that shiny at least I don't think so so usually I don't put it under my eye but since I'm running my mouth I'll put it under my eye okay I'm gonna take that same concealer that I use for my eyebrows and I'm going to start contouring my face so just put a little bit in the corner so I'm going up up I line down my nose a little bit there a little bit here and a little bit there I'll do a little bit here too so let that dry down and then we're gonna blend it once it dries a little until it has dried down some I'm gonna take the same side of the brush that I blended in my eyebrow with and just blend this in some. To give me a little brightness, I'm going to use my cream concealer. Although I just use liquid concealer, but don't 
judge me because that's how I do it. This is a cream stick foundation stick, but I'm using it as concealer. I'm going to do the same thing almost that I did with the other concealer on this eye. Boom. And a boom. I'm just gonna go in with my dark contour too while I'm doing Take some of the dark foundation, liquid foundation. And wherever I want it to be dark, I just add it there. This gives you the shadow effects. So you can see what I'm doing. This is not a quick, <laughs> this is not a quick makeup um, tutorial. This is just an update video, you know? I'm going to come back because I wanted to talk about um, why, how content creation has affected my life. So, yeah. But this is um, Matt Poirless uh, Maybelline, I believe. Yeah. Fit Me. Fit Me. This is most of the girlies first. And this stuff I probably bought like two years ago and I still use it because I still have some left. But I believe at the three year mark I'm gonna just trash it and start over because it collect germs, right? I guess, I think so, maybe. I think so. So this, we'll just blend this out with the sponge. Fit me um, loose finishing powder in the color 35, which is deep. I'm gonna use my same beauty blender, dab it, dab it, dab it. Now I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna set it. Just tap it in the areas where the concealer were. If you have like a request, I'll do it and post it um, before those other pre-recorded uh, videos. So yeah, so I'm just putting this powder everywhere. There is concealer, just to set it in. me blush palette and the most I do as far as um, eyeshadow is put my brown tone back on so this is the color hot cocoa and I'm just gonna dust it back on just to bring some color back to my eyes so yeah with the same palette, I am going to blush out my cheeks and highlight. I'm going to use tangerine and cranberry, which is orange and red for blush, and I'm going to hit my cheeks. Just tap it. Give me a little color. So this helps me blend in that blush with my concealer. 
you know makeup is a lot of blending a lot of back and forth you know just to get the cons consistency like I said just to get the um, look you're going for so I'm going to use the honor roll highlighter to highlight my cheeks put a little in the corner of my eye and then I'll do my okay so I am complete to my makeup I just added some lashes a fake mold some lip gloss lip liner and I am done so thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you back when I return with my hauls leave suggestions down in the comment section below and I'll see you bye